So today we're going to be talking... <coughs> Ugh. So all you uh, aspiring filmmakers out there, I bet your big question is, should I go to college for this? Should I go to college and try to study filmmaking or if you're an audio person, audio production, which is what I do, um, which I was first, I was initially a film major as you could probably tell in my last, um, in my earlier vlog series and stuff like that, but um, I've, I've recently uh, moved to audio to make it more specific goal, specific like mixing and mastering and, and recording and all that stuff with uh, the audio industry and just being able to learn how to use microphones and all that stuff was the initial I interest in my um, eyes because for obvious reasons it makes everything sound a lot better especially with YouTube videos and everything like that. So we want to talk about today is it worth going to college for filmmaking, for audio production, anything like that? My short answer, no. Currently I'm in my third year. I'm a junior here at at, at the University of Towson, um, and don't get me wrong, I love the people that I've met, I love the, the, the opportunities it has given to me, um, and the air quotes come around it because ultimately the only opportunities it's given to me are the people that I was able to meet. Other than that, honestly, if you're trying to find a new style or trying to figure out a different technique to do stuff, Look it up on YouTube. There are plenty of different YouTube channels and stuff like that. For one off the top of my head is Film Riot. I've been a fan of Film Riots for a while and uh, their their videos are very informative. They give you nice little DIYs um, and, and different tutorials on different editing techniques and different uh, after effects techniques and stuff like that they offer you a lot more than what in my in my experience a college will offer you the only thing that a college will offer you is networking and hands-on stuff and I go hands-on because a lot of the time it's very minimal and it's what you put into it uh, thankfully for Towson they give you they give us um, our own editing suites and stuff like that that are whisper rooms so we have areas to edit to um, to work on our projects to have that hands-on ability but other than that if you're there to just get your degree and move on and hopefully use that in in your future endeavors within the audio and film industry you're very rudely mistaken and it's very it's it's not gonna help you experience is what's gonna help you especially in the audio industry especially in the in the film industry I have uh, acquired different uh, internships and jobs through people I know that weren't even associated with with um, with Towson that are probably a lot more uh, in the industry and will help me a lot more than anything else that I've done here at the university I've worked for companies like Claire Brothers Cla Claire Global sorry they changed their name Claire Global uh, who do all the live sound and all the live production for basically any any band or artist that you know in the audio industry we do their touring we go on tour with them we do their audio stuff like that um, their speakers rigs everything we mix their whole thing uh, usually and I worked for them. I didn't do any of the, the, the on-tour stuff, but what I did do is I worked in their warehouse setting up all the stuff. Whenever a tour would be announced or, or ready to send out, I'd acquire all the equipment, I'd, I'd get all the speakers, I'd do all that stuff and partake in that. Having them on my resume is a lot more important and a lot, especially in the audio industry or in, in any industry of this, in the uh, arts industry, Having that name, Claire Global, on, on a resume is a lot more important than having a degree in my, in my experience and in my idea of things. Claire is very willing to bring in people that aren't in a degree. They have a program where they take kids from, I, I think they, they just, they take kids from full sale. When I was leaving Glo uh, Claire a couple weeks prior, they brought in a bunch of uh, recent graduates from, from uh, full sale and a bunch of other co uh, colleges in the area. Um, uh, in that area and then also around the world just people that apply so it but at the same time I acquired the job without needing or or basically saying that I, I was a student I mean I, I think they knew it but I don't think that it really mattered it's all about who you know so again going back to the whole thing of whether it's worth it or not um, yes if the people you meet are are 
able to help you and push you and 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 offer you jobs other than that if you're just trying to learn a different style a technique and master your own craft all you really need to do is keep doing it and looking up the YouTube tutorials, reaching out to people and and trying to gather that information that way. College isn't really gonna, it's kind of, in my experience, I would learn, I can learn everything I've learned in, in my four years, if, I, if, I'm, if I'm to complete the four years, four years I can learn in about a day of YouTube. I, I say that to a lot of people and it's sad to say and it, it might be very, it might be slightly off, but it, in my opinion, it's true. In my opinion, that a lot of this has to do with uh, an experience and what what you're willing to to put forth. So, all you aspiring filmmakers out there and, and audio production people and people trying to record, if you are to want to go to college for the college experience, go for it. But if you're going to try to find something and find a way to to find a, a new way to learn that something else might not provide you, it's really everything's kind of the basics when you come to college and you try to learn like film stuff and whatnot. It's all the basics from year one on. With 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 the arts um, in general, it's very here's the basics, mess with it, see what you can find, see what you can do, see what you can create from this, and if if you create something crazy. It's not because of the school or whatever education you have with it. It's your own creativity. It has nothing to do with that. And then, again, the only reason I would say that, that college for an arts degree or for anything is good is for the hands-on experience that it gives you if you're willing to take it up on it and the people you meet. If you have connections within the industry, if you have people that you can talk to, have things either go into college trying to learn a different thing just so you have a practical degree in something or just see how the first few years of your trying it can do um, especially for people that are trying to do YouTube uh, it's all dedication and hard work on that and just learning from yourself and your own mistakes college isn't gonna teach you how to be a great filmmaker it's just gonna teach you the basics and you're gonna have to figure it out on yourself and create your own uh, style and and point of view and how you want to write stories and how you want to film the stories how you want to record the music how you want to edit the music how you want to do all this stuff is on you your college is not going to teach you this this is things that you're going to figure out on your own and again if spending sixty thousand uh, dollars hundred almost a hundred thousand dollars on schooling so that you can say oh I've, I spent all this time so I can get a piece of paper and I figured everything out on my own anyways is it worth it to you? And that's the question. That's honestly the question I've been asking myself for the last little bit. Um, is it literally, is it honestly worth it to me at this point? Um, I have the resume, I have the things that I could start reaching out to people. Um, I just need to do it. And if if opportunities come that, that I get a job or have an opportunity to get a job out in LA, somewhere in New York, in Boston, whatever, I'm most likely gonna take it. And you know, if, if things, push comes to shove, things don't end up working out, I can always go back and finish my degree and then just jump into something that I, I use as a backup. You can always come back to college. Your your credits and stuff like that will always be there from from the knowledge of what I, like from what I know. It will always be there. You'll always have the, the progression that you've had, all the things that you've, you've done so far with college. It's all gonna be there. If you're asking yourself whether or not you should go to college, you should honestly ask yourself, what connections you have right now, what connections you can get on your own, and whether or not it's worth the money for yourself. Uh, is it worth the money to get the degree in something that you already have a passion about, already have connections with people, already have opportunities at your disposal, and all this is gonna do is just put you in debt. So on the other end of things, if I were to be asked, should I go to college for this? Yes, for the reasons of networking, and hands-on opportunities in the classroom if your college uh, offers that um, but no because it's ultimately up to you to find your own skill it's not gonna get you a job your your your, your degree is not necessarily gonna get you a job um, that you want it might get you an entry-level job and that entry-level job will will push you but um, in a lot of aspects if you have the experience and you have the opportunities outside of college without the need of college you gotta ask yourself is it really worth it
thank you for watching. I hope that uh, was a little informative for a few people. Uh, I don't know. I've, I've been struggling with that, that whole concept of staying here or using my opportunities and trying to reach out otherwise. Um, so, you know, it's, it's been a, it's been a, it's been a weird last couple, last semester at least. Uh, I've been trying to find a different passion, find a different thing that I can focus my, my, my college career on. Um, and I jumped into political science, trying to see if that'll help anything. But it, it's, in, it's interesting, but am I willing to write 30 page papers uh, for the next couple uh, semesters or years of my college career, I don't know. Uh, we're kind of just taking it a day at a time at this point, trying to put forth an effort in any way. Uh, so everybody's situation is different. That's my situation. That's how I've been dealing with things. Um, but again, thank you for watching. It was, uh, I don't know, I feel like my insight on this might be a little... Uh, kick to some people and also a push away for some people to, to kind of realize that their opportunities are outside of college and that spending $60,000 isn't necessary because we you hear all the time of people that have dropped out of college and made millions and made something out of themselves. Two people off the top of my head is Ty Lopez dropped out after the first year of college, went and lived with Amish people for God knows how long, a couple years and then, or a couple months or a couple years and then made, he's a billionaire because he just focused on the idea of creating something and didn't need the college degree to, to say that he could create something. He just did it because he had, he had the opportunities, he had the people in his life, he had the, the uh, things at his disposal to create this. And then another person is Steven Suptic. After two years, he, he dropped out and pursued his YouTube career. There are so many people in the YouTube industry, at least, that have, haven't gone to college, like Philip DeFranco is another one, or people that just dropped out and, and pursued what they love. You have to weigh out your options. You have to realize because it's because for me to drop out now and say, hey, I want to be a YouTuber is ridiculous. It's ridiculous to say I don't even have the, a small like a big enough platform to even argue that at this point. Bringing it back again. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry. This is just my mind is going back and forth, back and forth to everything. Um, but again, uh, if you're looking to go to college, uh, make sure you ask all these questions and, and figure it out. And if you have any further questions or whatever, leave it down in the comments below. Let me know. Um, and I might, I will, I'll respond if you ask questions, you know. So, anyway, bring this back. God bless. And I'll talk to you on Sunday, Saturday, Sunday, one of the two. I haven't figured it out yet whenever I edit this video or the next video. So thank you and uh, God bless again and goodbye.